Hello everyone! In my previous tutorial on flex direction, I created a bunch of illustrations to show how flex items flow along the main axis depending on what you set your flex direction property to. In this Flexbox tutorial, I will show you a live code example. This tutorial is for beginners, so I will explain everything step by step. First, I have created a flex container with the ID of main and set the display property to flex to make it a flex box. On the next line down we have flex flow which is shorthand for both the flex direction and flex wrap properties. So you list the value for flex direction first followed by the value for flex wrap. Here I have flex direction set to row and flex wrap set to wrap. Below the main container I have created three flex items. Here in the body you can see that the three flex items are contained within the main container because flex items must be children of the flex container. Our flex direction is set to row. Let me show you how the flex items appear in live preview. With flex direction set to row, the main axis is horizontal, starts at the left and ends at the right. Now let's change the flex direction to row reverse. With flex direction set to row reverse, the main axis is horizontal, starts at the right and ends at the left. You can see that our flex items are now going in reverse of how they were previously. Now let's change the flex direction property to column. Our main axis is now vertical, starts at the top and ends at the bottom. Finally, let's change the flex direction property to column reverse. Our main axis is vertical starts at the bottom and goes to the top. Thank you for watching this tutorial on flex direction. More tutorials coming soon. Please subscribe to my channel Bootstrap CSS Girl.